Hello. All right. The horrifying countdown has ended and I'm here at the brick just hanging out with um, my fetal pig in a jar and, uh, and Spock and tips. I like to tip myself generously. Speaking of tips, tip, you know, it's a cool thing to do. It helps artists and spaces. And look at that, Lauren, on top of the little cute, th I don't know what that's called, a banner? Is that called a banner? Who cares? Um, <laughs> you know, ones for banners. I don't know. I'm not Peter Mills Weiss. I don't know how to like talk about internet stuff in a cool way, but I do know how to talk about artists that I love and that's what tonight is all about. So it is the third episode of the Pioneers Go East Collective, um, their new show that they've been working on, Lucky Star, and they've been in the brick uh, all, I guess, the past four days, uh, working with Daniel Diaz and Bree Breeden and uh, Ryan, oh, everyone's favorite daddy, Ryan William Downey. That's the only way that he can be introduced for the rest of his life. So everyone's favorite daddy, Ryan William Downey has been here. John Berkland has been here. Um, all very safely, mind you. We're not, can I say, can I say fuck on this? I don't know. We're not fucking around. I hope we can say it. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, kids. Sorry, sorry, mom. Actually, my mom, I think, secretly says um, fuck all the time. So I think it's all right. Um, another thing I wanted to shout out before we get to the show is friend of the show, friend of me, friend of us all. Uh, Charles Quitner has been doing, helping with a holiday market at City Reliquary, which is another one of those spaces that we gotta say, we gotta keep Williamsburg uh, weird and cool for as long as we can. And if you wanna get weird and cool, City Reliquary is like as, as that as it gets, you know what I mean? So they did one today. My friend Tim Worson is selling uh, some flowers and stuff at this, which was cool. I was texting with him about it. Um, they also are selling rave wear, which I'm like, for all those 2021 raves that are coming up. Um, but also some people just want to wear rave wear. I don't know. And underwear and some other things as well. So it was this Sunday, but it's also next Sunday and the 20th. So the 13th and the 20th at City Reliquary, noon to four. So come out and support City Reliquary, support all these people selling their stuff, support, support local artists, and most importantly, enjoy this show. I'm so stoked for it. Um, and we will, I'll see you in the chat on the Twitch. I always follow my heart, darling. Follow your wants and needs in art and try to keep a roof over your head. Your hopes, your dreams are an illusion. Your desires are an illusion. We have the potential to explore each of our lives, our histories in art. You learn by sight. If you have eyes and ears, see how people interact. Learn about their culture. Listen to their stories, what they've done. Observe. So much is happening now during this challenging time, during this pandemic. Time and places are shifting quickly. June 10th, 2020, I walk. Stranger among strangers. We are unrecognizable wearing masks. I walk through the streets of the Lower East Side. Soho Sheik's storefronts are boarded up with simple plywood. I see potential for an urban canvas with artists painting graffiti. Black Lives Matter. This urban canvas is our collective expression, our wants, our needs. We are collectively taking up space. People spontaneously are taking back New York City. I pass by the new museum on the Bowery. Hundreds of Xerox of Black Lives Matter posted, staple taped on its facade. All the faces of black women and men who lost their lives made me reflect, made me sad. This is us, this belonging to all of us. This is mine too, all over again.
on my walk through the streets of the East Village, West Village, I see out of chaos comes order, a new order. Everything is changing, accelerating now. June 17th, 2020, I stood with high school students in Astor Place, holding cardboard handmade Black Lives Matter signs, mixed races, different cultures, fighting for racial justice, racial equality. These kids are Generation Y. These kids are peaceful. These kids are young. These kids are innocent. Individually and collectively, they are us, spontaneously joining in. This protest is like the Vietnam anti-war marches, I remember. This is about pacifism. Gandhi's message, the passive resistance, is what inspires my generation. Looking back and looking forward, I'm so grateful to be a witness now and then in our collective progress, our collective changes. In this new crowd, this new generation, I march. Far away, it's like a video game. You need to get to the next level to win, but the adventure and the tools you need to accomplish winning the prince or winning the princess are on the way to that level. Level one. Walking through the woods, there was a deer sanctuary close by. They would often pass me on my way. They were so beautiful in the white snow. Level two. It was my first time. I wore a top hat and orange rabbit's foot around my back. Once we got to the flat iron district, it started pouring. No one flinched. We cheered. We continued our march, energy even higher, my energy even higher. My top hat was lost or destroyed, but I couldn't have cared less about it. Level three, a fantasy, a state of mind. Do I want to be locked in a small space? No. Could I do it for art? Yes. I played Nag and Endgame and had to kneel in a trash can for over an hour on stage. Oscar the Grouch trapped in a can on stage. Biggest lesson in the stillness ever. I played Nag and Endgame and had to kneel in a trash can for over an hour. Oscar the Grouch trapped in a can on stage. Biggest lesson in the stillness ever. I played Nag and Endgame and had to kneel in a trash can for over an hour. Oscar the Grouch trapped in a can on stage. Biggest lesson. In a small city. Level 4. 42nd Street. I still get a thrill riding my bike through Times Square to this day. There's something about the hustling energy that's humbling and gives me a sense of security. The billboards on Broadway showing the winners of the video game. It is nice to see so many tourists fascinated by this place I get to call home. The billboards blinding neon lights. My top hat was lost or destroyed, but I couldn't have cared less about it. With dance, I feel those feelings. I experience those feelings, and I'm able to burst out. You cannot not watch me. Oh, no, you can't. That's the reason why I'm still in it, in it for good. I want the attention. Over time, it has gone from what are the attention to proving to myself that I can do it, to be heard. Now, it's about me. I want to be better and improve to be perfect for me. What if blood is like water? Expanding the limits of my body, using my imagination, stretching. What if, what if blood is like water? My ballet teacher used to make us do this one exercise, the jump, over and over again. I wouldn't get better at first, but that was part of the process. But then, what I was able to do, that was fascinating. To see myself improve, not in the moment, but building over time. I could jump higher, and I would see it, feel it. 
My ballet teacher started letting me go with the boys because they jumped higher. I love the challenge. Perfection. It takes repetition, it takes practice, and persistence, but it also takes reflection. I wouldn't jump higher in one day, but the next day I would, and jumping became second nature. I don't have to think about it now. I realized then what it takes to get better. No, I don't have to stay in this situation. No one can stop me. To reflect, sit with it, trial and error, that allows me to perfect my movement. Now I see how doing it, training is both the process and the reward. I don't talk a lot, ever. Most of the time I say things in my head, but never vocalize. I was shut down as a teenager, and I fear it now. With dance, I breathe, I feel those feelings, I experience those feelings, and I'm able to burst out. You cannot not watch me, oh no you can't. That's the reason why I'm still in it, in it for good, I want the attention. Over time it has gone from one of the intention to prove to myself that I can do it, to be heard. Now it's about me. I want to be better and improve to be perfect for me. The feelings that I feel, the worlds that I create, even walking down the street, I can only do that when I dance. What if blood is like water? Expanding the limits of my body, using my imagination, stretching, seeing what's possible. What if, what if blood is like water? I am intense, dramatic, a storyteller. Really, I love the drama. When I'm home or in the field behind my grandma's house, I can explode, live up to my potential, and play. I love unexpected situations that can overtake me like that. This is my grandma's home. We had so many rooms. Each room was a different color. My grandma was so organized. We had the white room, white walls, white drapes, and white furniture. We even had a purple room too. Strictly off limits was a room dedicated to her Bibles, Jesus on the crucifix. No one could go into that room. The kitchen had two stoves, a huge pantry. We had a living room and a family room and a swing off the back porch. There is just fields of grass. We had cousins, cousins, and more cousins. Sometimes cousins would come and stay for days, weeks, years sometimes. My grandma would renovate our rooms to make us feel comfortable. She made me feel so protected. That's why each room had a distinct color. My room, for me and my cousin, was a purple and shiny blue. We had two windows and there was so much light. And out back behind the house, the sweeping fields, the view, the forest in the distance surrounding us, acres of land, I felt protected. The wilderness on this side and the sense of my family on this side, and I was in the middle. I could create anything I wanted to, and that was my universe. I played dress up, talked to imaginary people, climbed my favorite tree. I would climb it to the highest branch. It was rare, but sometimes I had those moments where I could look out past the fields and into the forest, and that was magical. Now that I think about it, my cousins used to climb the trees with me. My grandma's favorite flower, the sunflower. Her room was yellow, bright. The kitchen was yellow with sparks of red and the cherries on the curtains, the short ones. The living room was brown and beige. No one spent time in there. The patterned couch was emerald green and the walls were covered with photographs and trophies of her grandchildren. If I was back in my grandma's field, I'd be an alien blue. No, 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 no. I'd be a neon purple being operating passwords, operating on a higher level, operating just off of my pure energy. My energy is this emerald, green, bedazzled, shiny Pegasus half human, half superhero, and I'll bring that to life. The mythical winged diving horse, shifting gravity. The grass is in the sky, and the sky is down here.
sensuality, nuance, comedy, eccentricity, intensity, connection, ritual, realness, openness, vulnerability, raw talent, precise, gaze, duality, quirk, a sense of humor, vocal, strong, black and fierce. I'm obsessed. I feel I am tapping more into myself, unlocking parts of myself. I am seeing more of me. Adidas, Reeboks, and sweatsuits. Missy Elliott, fearless, always cutting edge. Missy Elliott, in my skin, my sexuality, this amazing woman represents us oh so well. A woman with Adidas, Reeboks, and sweatsuits. She reps us to the fullest, so special and rare. Fearless, iconic, she was and is an obsession. Of course, it took me a while to find people that saw me and not this person I should be, but the people I resemble. I look like this strong Alvinelli type of dancer, the type that is just muscle and power, go, 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 work, sweat, bang, boom, with her Adidas, Reeboks, and sweats. Jump. I mean, every dance teacher looked at me and put me out to be this person and this dancer I wasn't. Commercialized, technical black girl that can jump, lift, jump, turn, and jump. Jump. I am emotional. I am tender and graceful. A student, quiet and reserved, fearless. Jump. I have powerful energy that can change a room. That is a lot to handle. I think aloof was a word that was thrown around. If I don't want to do something, I won't show up or agree in the first place. I made insanely creative, unique connections that inform my body and work. Sensuality, nuance, comedy, eccentricity, intensity, connection, jump. Realness, ritual, openness, vulnerability, raw talent, precise, jump. Gaze, duality, quirk, jump. 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 seconds and counting. All systems are good. We're about 90 seconds to the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. The War of the Worlds, the delegates of Venus, the day the Earth stood still, the alien invasion of graphic sci-fi novels from the 50s, on the book covers, the aliens with their large eyes, baby-shaped heads, the shiny creatures, the flying saucer, the UFO sighting fascinated and puzzled people for decades. July 8, 1947, many believe extraterrestrials are roaming the Earth now. And outer space, I imagine aliens to be skinny, really pretty, shiny, like 90s Calvin Klein models, in human form, but silver or iridescent. Perfect human silhouette, fabulous, shiny. My ideal aliens, ethereal, graceful, like a dancer. They might fly or walk gracefully, cat-like, proud, technologically advanced, forward-thinking, the most beautiful experience. As an alien in a UFO, we flew above the hot springs, pools of water glowing neon, spin through me. I had never experienced the earth like that. We touched. 
were found. The gravitation force, the cycle of the universe expands into traps containing all elements. Our souls lead us to this tiny blue marble. Sometimes we are animals, sometimes we are humans. We're tiny things, or any, many tiny things, or bugs, or giant trees with leaves that spread to soak up the sun and the rain. Of course, humans are animals, sometimes vicious. But there are more blues out there, and reds. Are you performing a part to impress me, the public? Are you performing a part for approval? No, the applause is wonderful, isn't it? You can't be self-conscious about it, baby. Be spontaneous, baby. Art is like love. Either you love or not. Either you create art or not. It can't be quantified. You don't create art to improve yourself or others. You create to share who you are. A downtown icon once told me they spend countless hours filling in applications, residency applications, research applications. Applications, publications, and applications, and footnotes to the applications. Can you tell me the ways to make my bio more impressive on Wikipedia? Will you read my bio? Will you understand me? Will you engage me? The conundrums we get stuck in. It's exhausting. The paperwork is endless because recording is what you do. Is more important than what you do. It seems the outcome of your project is more important than creating where you are in your career. Tell us about the development of the project up until this moment. What audiences and communities do you hope to engage through your work? What did you learn from the past developmental phases? How have those learnings informed your next steps? What are your next steps, and where are you? Now, what a shame! No one has a camera to record me. Us, this moment. You do? You have an iPhone? Oh, wonderful! Take a video, and it becomes real. Post it, and you are loved. A lot of artists don't seem to exist until they hit a thousand Instagram likes. Sometimes it's political. It's argumentative. It's disingenuous. It's understanding the algorithm. Sometimes. Now, are we recording? Thank you, darling. Without this recording, I don't exist. Who is going to listen to all this over and over again? Without recording, you don't exist. What is your desire? To be known, to be successful. Be careful about what you wish, because you may regret it. You did it for the applause instead of the actual experience of creating. You went out for the return. Now. What if you realize there's nothing you can do to be a better artist? Nothing. What a relief, isn't it? You can simply be happy being yourself. What if you realize the process of creating is what you are? Then you have time to be, time to breathe. It sounds too simple. Don't try to control your thoughts. Just watch. Watch what happens. The things you do are just happening. 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 Art is like love, baby.